hi guys welcome back to my channel in my tutorials in this tutorial i'm going to teach you how to dynamically select columns and add that into your matrix table or a table in power bi so let's get started so this is the table that i have over here so let's assume that uh, I want to have my customer ID and the rest of the columns in the table that I have, I want to dynamically select them. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click here on customer ID. Sorry, I'm gonna go here into Power Query. I'm gonna click on Edit Query. And then once you have, the, you're in the Power Query mode, uh, what I'll do is I will go to the customer ID column, which is over here. And then I'm gonna right click on this and select unpivot other columns so when i do that you will get something like this and i'm going to click on close and apply let's head, let's head over to the report now and you will see something like this only three columns appearing over here so let's click click on attribute so these this is our slicer here uh, so let's rename this to uh, slicer okay so this is our slicer column i'm going to also change this to slicer over here and then let's add a matrix here and customer id is going to be our base column which is against these customer ids we're going to populate the columns and then i'm going to have the value here i'm going to pull this into values over here and note that we are only bringing in the first value which means that you need to have one is to one data over here but if you have multiple uh, columns under uh, or multiple rows under one single customer ID, then this is not going to work, okay? So right now you will see that we're getting this and, and then I'm gonna bring in the size slicer information, slicer column into the columns here, okay? So as you can see here, we have not selected anything and uh, we're getting all the columns here. I'm gonna quickly go here and turn off both the subtotals over here because we don't need them. And as you can see here, uh, we're getting all the columns over here. So let's click on category here. Let me just align this a little bit. Okay, so let me also go back here to the slicer settings and selection and turn off multi select with control. And now when I click on category, I'm going to get all the categories that this particular customer has bought. Now, let's say you want the customer name and then I can simply click on customer name and I'll get the customer name. And then let's say I want to know the postal code. I want to know, let's say the region where he's from and I want to know the state. And then I need to know the subcategory and category and city information, right? So I can choose whatever uh, column that you want to display here in the matrix table. And that can be displayed over here dynamically based on this particular slicer. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope this video has helped you. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.